All right, Troy, big game uh, this past weekend. I think it was the first time uh, Navy's lost at home in, in our conference. Uh, tell me what happened on offense. Yeah, you know, looking back on that game, we really didn't play our best. Uh, a little sloppy at times, but what I was proud of the most of our guys is that uh, we answered the call when we needed to. Um, you know, it was imperative that we started fast. And right here, you know, this was a third and 12 first series of the game. Uh, we call it really a vertical concept. McKenzie makes a great throw. We have great protection, makes a great throw. You know, Dredrick makes a great catch. And it got that first series really starting. And then here you go, the same drive down here in the red zone. We knew it was important that we scored touchdowns. And right here we kind of have a pick play, but Traquan did a great job of he's kind of the backside receiver of busting his butt, getting over across the field, and McKenzie found him. Great way to start the game. Absolutely. And then in the second half, they went down and scored. It's 14-14. Our guys didn't panic. First play of the second half, you know, we ran this play before, and it hit inside. So I think those guys were thinking that it was going to hit inside, so they kind of stuck their nose inside, and AK – Saw the crease outside. Trey Kwan does a good job coming down, blocking MDM. Offensive line comes off the ball. They do a great job of covering up their man. And when AK gets to the perimeter, as we say, it's cheese and bread. He's gone. And uh, once again, we answered the call, answered the bell, and we responded. And then the last drive, you all did a great job, bam, getting the ball back to us. And then this run right here, offensive line does a great job of covering up their man. Otis finds a crease. He hits it. And that put us up 10. So overall, you know, we didn't play that well, a little sloppy, but we answered the bell when it was time and uh, proud of the guys. And uh, tell us how you all were able to uh, really slow down a high power Navy offense. First, I agree with you. We got a little sloppy too at times. But, you know, to be honest with you, Coach, to be able to stop us, I know you talked about your staff a little bit last week. We have. I mean, Jovan DeWitt's been a D coordinator against this. Mike Dawson's been a defensive coordinator against this. Travis Fisher's had a lot of experience. Um, and even, you know, down to our, our graduate assistants, Jack Cooper studied the heck out of it. Uh, Clay McGrath really knows the offensive line play. And Barrett Rude studied the heck out of the, the keys for the inside linebacker. So I got to give credit to those guys. I mean, we put a, a complete staff plan together to, to get this thing done. Um, to be honest with you, these guys up front and these two linebackers, it all starts with those guys. And, and right from the beginning, I thought Pat Jasinski probably played his best game as a night. You can see here, here's one play at the very beginning of the game. He's not looking around getting crazy. He knows the D-line is going to take the dive, and he's working on the quarterback, and he makes it and strikes it quickly. And I thought that was great. The kids trusted the game plan. They trusted their eyes and their assignments, and they, and they were making things happen quickly. And against an option team, as you guys, you were on some option in your offense, you know when, when things happen quickly, it makes it a little harder on that quarterback. Here's another play at the beginning of the game just to show what, what's going on. Now you got these, these three big animals up front just, just smoking the dive. And as soon as everybody else on the defense knows, guys, the, the dive is not going to happen. It allows everybody to play free. So you can see right here, Tony Garrard does a nice job. He's getting arced, but he knows his key is the dive. He's not going to get himself all wound up with a tackle, and he's going to go down and strike the dive and make a heck of a tackle on a, on a big old fullback. As, as the game kind of wore on, like you were talking about at the end of the half, they really put a lot of pressure on us driving at the end of the half. Right here, it's a third down. They got to throw the football. Uh, and you can see we got some zone coverage. Guys are doing a nice job in zone coverage. And right here, Bam Moore kind of grew up this game. Right here, he tips the ball. Kyle Gibson gets the interception. But as you can see, Bam Moore goes ahead and he tips that thing up. Kyle gets the interception, and we get out of the half. And then like you were talking about, uh, right before your last drive, this is they got the ball back in their own friendly territory. Big, a lot of pressure on us, but... You know, this was, we, we talked about as a defense, this was our chance for greatness. This was our chance to be great right here. And, and we weren't going to be scared. The kids wanted to go after them. Um, we had sent the Sam and the Strong safety off the edge. And in the triple option, that's usually the quarterback's key to pitch it. Bam knew it. He saw his guy coming. He triggered quickly without hesitation, knocked the ball out and recovered himself. Allowed you guys to go back down there and score, and then the rest is history. Big play. Yeah, so I thought it was a, a great job by the a, a complete defensive game. It's fun to watch. It wasn't a bunch of one-on-one -on -one battles. It was every single man doing their job and knowing that everybody else was doing their job. And it really shows you the maturity of this team. I know uh, East Carolina, Bam, had a drop one or two interceptions. Yep. 
and he didn't hang his head and, no. and came back. And this week he made a play to, to, to win the game. So Yeah, you guys got a lot of freshmen performing on that side of the ball. And, and we know he's the only he's the only real freshman that's in there, so he's going to get picked on a little yeah. bit, and you just got to keep fighting. Yeah. As we go on, we got Austin P. So yeah. um, I'll tell you a little bit about the offense first. Sounds good. They've got a million formations, a million motions, huh. so they're going to try to mess with your eyes, almost like the triple option, but a little different, the spread version. Um, they've got some nice receivers. They got a, a young man from Florida that does a good job, and they've got two quarterbacks that really roll in there. One guy's a little bit more of a thrower. One guy's a little bit more of a, a pass catch guy. But as you see, this guy, here's the runner, okay, and they get they get Cincinnati spread all the way out, and he's just going to run a little quarterback draw, and he can make some things happen with his legs as he goes. You can see right here they're getting to an unbalanced with three backs in the backfield, kind of the same thing that um, Navy did to us on, on a couple plays to throw this. And they run some option out of it. They've got a few trick plays. And right here they get everybody's eyes sucked up, and they're just going to go throw the ball. Got a little double move at the bottom of the screen here, a little out and up. So they, they're, they're dangerous, you know, running and throwing the football, and especially as much, as much as they do formationally to get everybody's eyes kind of kind of in the wrong spot. Here's another one you can see here. They're going to shift, create an X off over here, create an unbalanced formation. Then they're going to motion to unbalance. So right there, you got really, you got everybody's got to realign the defense with a shift. Everyone's got to notice that it's still X off and probably going to go to unbalanced and then readjust when the motion comes. So a lot of stuff going on. And as you can see, everybody overplays this fly sweep over here. This running back just busts it out the backside. Um, here's one more right here, motion, motion to create a three-man service. Then he goes back in the backfield, and then they're going to run a little quarterback keeper. He kept it a few times. This time he handed it off, and you can see that they're just, they're just getting people's eyes all kinds of crazy. So it's going to be another game of discipline, another game of defense, everybody doing their job and communicating really well. Hmm. What uh, what about these guys on uh, defense? What, what do they look like? Yeah, on defense, they're good defense. Uh, they're giving up an average of 297 yards of total offense a game, which is pretty which good. Is pretty good. Uh, one, 120 yards in the run game, uh, 175 passing, and they're only giving up 19.8 uh, points per game. That's really good. So it's a, it's a good defense, and we've got to be ready. It really starts up front. Number 90, man, he kind of reminds me of kind of Dwight Freeney, uh, who I played with with the Colts, man. He comes off the edge, uh, undersized, but very quick, has a great first step. Um, our tackles are going to have to be on their game because he'll create a lot of havoc just by coming off the ball. Um, you know, they play hard, these guys, a lot of twists, some movements. So we got to make sure we're stout up front so that we can protect the quarterback and allow him time to, to throw it as well as open up holes in the run game. Um, you'll see this, uh, this play here, the linebackers motion over. Linebackers, they're flying to the football. They read it. They shoot their guns. Safeties are going to be run support, so they're going to try to stick their nose in there. They're going to try to get seven, eight, nine guys in the box and, and man you up on the outside, and they do a great job of just running to the football. So we got to make sure we, we uh, you know, match their intensity. And then last but not least, if you get behind the chains third and long, they go to kind of an exotic defense, three down linemen. They'll bring in an extra DB. You're not really sure where they're coming from, so they try to create confusion based on alignments, um, overload a side, bring some guys from the other side. And so uh, we have to make sure we stay in third and manageable situations. And then now they're manning it up on the, on the uh, back end and trying to get pressure on the quarterback. And we've got to make sure we match their intensity, stay focused, understand the things that have gotten us this far. And if we do that, we'll be okay. It's going to be another fun one. Yeah, back at home. Back at home. Excited to see the fans. Absolutely. Go Knights. Charge on.